888-891-0119 to save up to $523. Wait, can you take a look at the, at the policy and look to Hey YouTube, my name is Zach and I'm the creator of Cassandra Mar and today I'm going to be doing part 5 in this series of tutorials explaining how to create your own programming language. In the last tutorial we coded this, which is the AST, and today we're going to be coding the parser. And uh, the parser is where you start seeing a lot of what we did in the E, B, and F form in the first and second tutorials start to come. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to declare the classes that we're going to be, or sorry, the libraries that we're going to be using. First library is going to be collections. The second library we're going to be using is text. After that, we're going to do a public sealed class, and we're going to call it parser. In this, we're going to declare a private int, and we're going to name it index. After that, we're going to do a private collections dot i list object. We'll call this one tokens. After that, we're going to do a private read only, and this one's going to be an stmt result. After that, we're going to declare a public parser. Collection that I list object tokens. And within this, we're going to type this dot tokens equals tokens. Then this dot index equals zero. This is our result equals this dot parse stmt. Now the parse stmt hasn't been uh, declared yet, so it's going to be an error. So then we're going to do an if statement. If this dot index is not equal, this dot tokens dot count. Throw new system that exception. And this is going to present this to the user. After that, we're going to do a public STMT. It's going to be result. And within this, we're going to do get curly brackets return result. After that, we're going to do a private STMT. We're going to call this one parse STMT. Type in STMT result. That we're going to do an if statement. If this dot index equals this dot tokens dot count, new throw, new system dot exception. This is going to be presented to the user. Expected statement got EOF. After that we're going to do another if statement. If this dot index, sorry, this dot tokens, square bracket this dot index dot equals. Is it safe? 
Okay, this is where you start seeing a lot of the EBNF form that we did. This is um, where we're going to start declaring the non-terminals that we did in the EBNF form. And this one's going to be print. And then we're going to type in this.index++. Plus plus. And this is where stuff that we did in the AST is coming in. And declare print. And then print that expression. Is this that parse expression? And a lot of this hasn't been uh, declared yet. The parse expression and the parse uh, STMT haven't been declared yet, so they're going to be errors. Doing else if this dot tokens square bracket this dot index dot equals this one's going to be var. I'm going to do this dot index plus plus. We're going to use the class declare var. We're going to do an if statement if this dot index is less than this dot tokens dot count and This dot tokens square bracket this dot index is string. We do declare var dot ident. equals string this dot tokens square bracket this dot index we're going to do an else statement we're going to do throw new system dot exception Expected variable name after var. This dot index plus plus. After that, we're going to do an if statement. If this dot index equals this dot tokens dot count or this dot tokens this square bracket this dot index is not equal to scanner dot equal and we will complete this in the next part of this tutorial thanks for watching guys